and I'm currently in Santa Wingley Island. Because I'm going to be so excited to go in there. So I'll bring, bring you along. Yay to Santorini. <laughs> Santorini to ourselves. Hey guys, for those who don't already know us, we are Tiny Travel 2. We are four adults and two little girls who have been traveling the world full time since November 2019. So we came to a restaurant in Santorini that we found open and when we sat down they gave us this tiny little bottle which me and Katie thought was like a cute little bottle of water and the lady actually told us that it's grappa, um, so a spirit that ranges from 35 to 60% alcohol normally. She told us it was 45% alcohol and um, I don't drink at all and this burnt as it went down but I'm nice and warm now I got it? risotto it looks really nice I think this is like a ball of feta oh that's right down your alley yeah I like feta okay. vegetarian risotto so it's meant to be tomato capsicum or peppers and basil with feta. It's really good. Quite sweet, but really good. Down the bottom there is the old Santorini Harbour and the staircase that you can see if you look right down the bottom you can see there's a stack of donkeys going down right now but this staircase is what traditionally they would bring up all of their food and produce that was delivered to them from the harbour via the staircase and now it's just used as a touristy thing I believe during summer they still have the donkeys and you can ride the donkeys back up through the staircase and eventually it comes through the village and that's what you see on most of the images of Santorini. Right now though it's winter so no one's here. I was surprised to see donkeys I didn't think that, that there'd be any on there today but there is absolutely no one here so that's a long staircase too. It is so a it very comes long all staircase. All the way up to well, it actually here. it actually goes up through the village as well and gets up to the the, the peak of the village. So this is a uh, Fira, the village of Fira, which is the the, the, main, village, the main village on Santorini. On Santorini. Another fun fact this morning when I was researching Santorini, but on the other side of the island, there's actually a village that they found from, I think it was 3000 BC, and it's a village that, that is on the other side of the island, and they would live here, and when the volcano erupted, they moved out prior to that. So for somehow they predicted that it was gonna erupt, they moved out prior, but, they have recently found within the last you know 30 40 years they found this village and they're in the process of still excavating it and it is said that it's it's the only other place in the whole world apart from Pompeii where a volcano has perfectly preserved, preserved a, an entire village so it's kind of cool if you want to see that I believe it's 12 euros People do say it's a little bit expensive because, you know, obviously you can't walk through it. But if you're really into history 
or that kind of thing on the other side of the island 12 euros per adult worth seeing since it's the there's only two in the world that's like that well today we're today we're on a mission for one thing the whole reason Katie wanted to come to Santorini or one of the reasons she wanted to come to Santorini was the sunset view and to have a cheese and wine picnic while watching the sunset view so this morning it's quite cloudy and it's very cold the wind is cold we're hoping that clears up and we're gonna walk through the village to try to find some local wine and some cheeses and take it back to our hotel and enjoy that great view this afternoon. So that's what we're on the mission to do this today. So we have our cheese and wine. Well, where's the wine? The boys. Where's the, the wine, wine Thiago? Bring it now. So we have our cheese and wine, and we have the view. Well, we are just hoping that the clouds, they're slowly moving, but we hope that they clear. Can anyone else hear thunder though? No, yeah. it's wind. It, yeah. It's wind, is it? The, behind us is a clear sky. Just not the direction we want it to be clearing. <laughs> Then I love you. And I'll so we found yeah, ourselves maybe. lost in Santorini. Yeah, there we go, because I the, 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 <laughs> the one of the problems with being here by yourself is you can't follow the crowd. So so you can you literally walk through people's property on this on the hillside here. That's how you get from one end to the other. Is you just walk through the properties. We've come to an intersection. We're not really sure we whether we go that we way, this way or, or this that way. way. So now half of us are going to go that way and half are going to go this way to see who wins. Okay, ready? Ready, go! go. that were here originally that they just kind of got left and they've slowly fallen apart. This is obviously a part of it. I pretty thought we got Wow. Them. They just they just get left to fall apart. Millie Oh but they serve cake. SAE. They serve yeah. SAE. <laughs> <laughs> Millie and Kate upstairs. Um and Chloe Dad. Oh, so I found a sign. So I just want to make a quick point. So we've traveled around for a little while now and there's one thing we've learned and that is Sophie is in charge. Vera that way, I that way, or amazing photo opportunity that way. So let's go to the amazing photo. Sunset. So the sunset's right there. I 
actually disagree. There's a if cat. Everyone thinks the sun sets there. I no, will I think say it sits over there. somewhere over there. Because it, it sits behind the, the volcanic thing in the middle. Yeah, well, that's you're right. probably so right. We're we're like located about there. there. Straight on. Looking that way. But for all of those people that that have seen all of the Instagram photos. This is the perfect little alley that those photos are taken on. So now Amy gets changed into her dress and we blow the wind down the corridor. <laughs> Can you believe our last night here in Santorini and we're gonna finally have a little bit of luck and get that amazing sunset that we came here for. Thanks for joining us in Santorini. Hit the subscribe button, don't forget the bell, make sure you receive all the notifications so that you don't miss a minute and we'll see you in the next island. So that's us for Santorini. It's all over. We've just checked out of the Sunset Hotel. We're on our way downtown. We're gonna get something to eat and catch a bus. Let's find out how everyone's going. How's everyone feel about leaving Santorini? Uh, sad, but I am very excited about Mykonos. You mean Mykonos? Mykonos. Naxos, we're not even going to Mykonos. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really I'm forgot where we were going. going. I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. She's excited about Mykonos and we're all going to Naxos. So I can see why she's excited, a kid free holiday. Yeah. Well she made she made the plans, right? So I oh. assume that maybe she is going to Mykonos and the rest of us are off to Naxos. <laughs> why do you think I'm so excited? So something I was surprised about, and I guess I should have thought about it, was the fact that there's donkeys here moving things up and down the hill. But it means there's donkey poo everywhere. <laughs> so it's a bit of a funny uh, landmine situation where you've got to avoid getting it all over your shoes. Bye, Santorini.